Hey everyone, welcome to the show. If you're new here, I've been a nomad for five years, five years. And I've traveled back and forth a couple times to the East Coast, to the West Coast. I mainly stay within the West Coast area, Arizona, Nevada, California, Utah. And I record and I film things that I do every day. I'm just an everyday nomad. The things that I do every day and I show them or I try to instruct. And today I want to go over again some solar, the power. One of you asked if I could revisit the solar. I've done that a few times, but why not? I mean, solar is so important to have. It's important to have power when we're on the road. And please subscribe. It really helps me out. If you're new here, please subscribe. It, it, it's a glorious thing. <laughs> yes. And ring notifications so that you never miss one of my videos. And I know a lot of you have been with me for since the very beginning. I'm going on um, anniversary about two years of doing videos. I've got almost 400 videos put up so far. I do a schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for my videos. Now this Saturday is Christmas, so I'm going to put up one on Sunday because I know you want to be with your families and yeah. Well, I hope that you all have somebody that you can spend Christmas with. And if you're a nomad and you're traveling solo, I hope you find somebody to celebrate Christmas with. There's been, there were a couple Christmases where I celebrated Christmas alone, but I still had fun because I enjoyed being by myself and I still had a lot of fun. And there's always somebody out here, even if you're at a park or whatever, that you can still say hey and talk to and still uh, communicate with other human beings. So as far as solar goes, I'm going to show you um, a previous video. Um, I'm going to show some shots of that. I have a solar panel on the top of my minivan. This is my solar panel on my roof. I've got it taped on with black Gorilla tape. I'm using my ladder to wash it off. I wash it off often, get the dust off so it works properly. This is where the solar panel connectors are connected to the extension cord that goes inside my side pull-out window, my pop-out window. And I've got tape around it, as you can see. I'll leave the link for this video that I did on the solar. Right here, you can see the tape is holding it down perfectly. And it's a flexible solar. It's very thin, so nobody can see it from the outside. You know, if you're just looking at my minivan, you don't see the solar panel on top. I think it makes it just a little bit more stealthy. But I want to explain solar. I don't think solar is just for nomads or campers. I think solar's for everybody. When I left Cincinnati, I went to Cincinnati and spent a couple years there and then came back. I had bought a small solar panel. Well, it was a, it was a kind of a heavy one and it was had the metal frame and I left it behind and I told my kids, go ahead and, and experiment with solar. I mean, it's right here. I'm just gonna leave this for you. I don't know if they did, but everybody can experiment with solar. You don't have to be a nomad and out traveling. Um, to have fun with it and discover it and see how it works. I don't think it's that expensive. My flexible solar panel that's on the top of my minivan, I believe it was about $150 with tax. I don't think that's that expensive. And it has served me well. It's over a year old. It's still going strong. And I'll tell you, how do I have it? Because it's so thin, how do I have it on my roof? <laughs> I know. I taped it with black Gorilla Tape. I taped it all the way around. I, I made sure that it didn't overlap any of the panel system. And then I did a couple of layers of the gray Gorilla Tape around it. Well, thus far, the, the gray Gorilla Tape has lifted off. But what's holding strong is the black Gorilla Tape. Is it actually stronger? I don't know. But the gray Gorilla Tape 
has thus, um, I've had to kind of pull it off a little bit here and there. So you don't have to drill holes in your rig in order to get it up there. Now here's another thing too I'm going to mention. I'm in a minivan so I'm not really that tall. I have a ladder, a three-step ladder that I can get up there and even then because I'm short, shorter arms, I have to really reach over and sometimes it's hard. But if I was in a high top, a sprinter or any kind of a high top, that's really up there and you're going to have to um, carry a taller ladder. And you have to carry it with you because you do have to get up there. You have to clean it. You have to check it out. And then if you need to replace it, you got to get up there. And then to put it in in the first place, you have to get up there. So you will have to carry one of the main things. If you put solar on the top of your rig, you're going to need a ladder that's going to be tall enough for you to use. It's not easy in a minivan carrying an extra ladder, but I do. It folds up and, and I do because, you know, I want to be able to get up there. So there okay so basically you need a solar panel if you want to deal with solar you have to have a solar panel and i'm going to show you a few solar panels that i have but first if there's some way that i can explain how this works the sun is the generator you're getting energy from the sun and it's going to shine down you want to face your solar panel against the sun now in you have winter sun and you have summer sun summer sun comes directly down winter sun is at an angle so i can get better uh, power in the summer of course on my minivan because it's just up there and i need something to come down it's not angled really so yeah so there's just a little tidbit about there's two different types of sun uh, summer and winter sun the angle is the deal so it shines onto the solar panel and then there's all the solar panel and I don't understand the technology of this but the solar panel is is made in such a way um, they were previously using sand to produce some now they're using um, ground up quartzite um, quart not quartzite whoops quartzite's on my mind but they do find quartz in quartzite nah. so yeah they grind up quartz and use that now for solar panels. Now, um, and then it's devised in such a way that when the sun shines on it, it collects in those little panels. It collects energy, and it, then it what happens is it runs it, it runs the energy runs through the cord. A cord, you got a cord. Now the cord has to go somewhere, and it has to go to some kind of device that can store it until you need it. And there's different systems that you can use. If you're going to use acid batteries, which I don't use, I use lithium ion devices, batteries, they're called power banks or power stations. And they bank up, it's like a bank, they're, they're adding, they're um, depositing energy. Now, a power bank, sure, it's a power bank, but I like to use the word power station because it's a station. You've got all these different um, plugins. You can use USB. It's like a little station. Yeah, like a power station. Yeah. So what it does is it's going to bank up the energy coming through the sun and it goes through the, the solar panel and goes through the cord. If you're using an acid battery, you're going to need a controller, an extra device, an I, a external device is called a controller. And what the controller does is it controls the amount of energy going in at one time. Okay. Um, and then from the controller, it goes right into your acid batteries. Some people use regular big acid batteries like car batteries, or a lot of people that what they do is they piggy bank three or four um, golf cart batteries and they say that the, you can get them for cheaper and they say they're better I have never gone with that system but I believe them it's it's a great system now from then from the battery it moves the cord moves into an inverter now the inverter is what it inverts the energy to whatever you need whether it be a USB or AC or DC right or 12 volt 
and then from the inverter then you can plug your devices into the inverter if you have a van a build out or even i've seen minivans and usually they're build out so what they do is they attach the controller and the inverter to a board and then they attach the board to the inside of their rig because you don't want them just flopping around willy-nilly while you're driving so you have to have then also have to have the batteries kind of close by or you have to have an extra long cord to go from the controller to the batteries and then from the batteries all the way back to the inverter because usually the controller and the inverter are, are in the same because you do have to mount them or put them or drill a hole in your rig or whatever to mount them up so that's a system that you can use for acid batteries okay and then you've got you know and it's all going to be you're using solar right well a lot of us especially us who are in smaller rigs or don't want to do these build outs and use acid um, lead acid batteries we use the power stations the power banks now let me just show you I've shown it a billion times but this is a Jackery I will not buy another Jackery I'm just gonna say that right off the bat I won't they've never reached out to me and that's not even the reason I don't like this I I mean I don't like this I want it to be flat I want to put something on it if I need to this is useless to me it just takes up more space i could actually put something on top and it wouldn't hurt the the power station to have something on top of it and i could put something on it but i don't i won't use jackery i won't buy jackery again i'll either go blue eddy or oakmo now this is the power station right i've got you see i've got ac here i can plug in a regular um ac plug 110 volt these are my um, USB. Let me turn this on. What you do is you just turn this on. It turns green, and then you can use it. I don't do that. This is my 12 volt. It's sort of like a cigarette lighter. You can plug things in there. These are DC, and here's where it uses. Um, Jackery uses an eight millimeter DC plug that's going to matter you're going to need to know these things like a jackery uses an eight millimeter whereas like an oakmo uses 5.5 i believe or 5.2 but you have to find out what they use because you may have to get an extra um plug for that but this is the power station now what's in here well there's a controller already built in there's a lithium ion battery that's already built in and these and there's an inverter that inverts the power you get from the solar panel the sun and the sun to it inverts it to whatever you need there you go so that's why everybody loves these power banks these power stations because everything's built in yay i mean seriously now they can be expensive this is a 500 watt okay now the way jackery works and a lot of them work it's like a dollar a watt so this was roughly 499 dollars which really is 500 dollars right the 99 why do people still use that um yeah so and there's not much else to it there's uh vents for the fan there's nothing back here it's constructed well and there's a oh on the side here there's a there's a light we'll turn that off yeah. I don't know I never use the light a lot of people don't um, a lot of people say that these are just overpriced uh, phone chargers well I just recently did a video on all of the USB gadgets that I have. I love USB. I have a few AC. Oh yeah. Um, I don't have many um, DC. Now a lot of you do have a 12 volt. What do you use for the 12 volt? You have those road road. Um, what are they called? Ro they look like um, they heat up food like truckers use them roadmaster or what is it called um, road something where you can actually cook food and it looks like a a large um uh, uh 
what do you call those that kids used to take their meals in you know yeah what are they called give me <laughs> leave a comment i'm having a moment yeah um what they're called lunch pail lunch pails that looks like a large lunch pail that somebody would take to like um you know construction job or something but yeah they use these so yeah i mean these are nice now what can i plug into here what can i use to plug into here well well i have to look if i have something that i want to use like a hair dryer i have to look on the hair dryer to see what kind of wattage it uses right i mean if it uses this is 500 watt if it uses 550 watts it ain't gonna work it's just gonna like um it's not gonna really short this out what it does is it just stops it um yeah it won't work but if it takes 250 watts per hour um, and it'll you know every every device every appliance has a wattage so yes it will work on here it will draw a lot of power especially anything that heats up is going to draw a lot of power that's a given but you you can't just say well what could I you I have a Jackery what can I what can I use it for you got to like think it out logically on your own. Let's get let's get smart everybody. You need to look at the wattage. And if it's a high wattage, you know, and if it heats up, you know that you it's it'll run, but not for a very long long time. You're going to have this really going to take a lot of juice out of this, a lot of energy, and you're going to have to store this back up, store energy back up in it. So you're going to have to power this up and have it plugged into your solar panel more often okay so that's this one i also have an okmo this is i have two okmos i have a 2000 watt okmo it is um paul is using it for um the microwave and but this is my 1000 this is my 1000 watt okmo i can actually use a hair dryer on this because I think my hair dryer is really almost like I think it's 780 something like that watts and then I also can use I bought a steamer in case I want to go somewhere nice and I don't have places to hang up my clothes and I got tired of not being able to wear some things I go oh that's way too wrinkled well I now have a steamer and I can use it with this and it it heats up it heats up so guess what it takes a lot of power yeah so this is my Okmo and I like it because look at it's flat I can set something on here I can actually set that on it but not so the other way around yeah so here's what I got here here is my 12 volt here is my I do like Okmo I love the company these are USB they also have power delivery and what it does is it powers it much more quickly here we have a see I'm gotta look um, this is this is the DC and this is the PV this uses a different kind of a a connector and it's supposed to and supposedly it puts in power really quickly also and of course I've got three AC I'm not so sure I would appreciate having three ACs I really make two two would maybe even be too many but because I would only use one at a time but these are nice also they devise these in case you live in a house and your power goes out you can keep your refrigerator you can keep some of your appliances going especially with the 2000 oh my gosh you could plug your refrigerator you could plug a large refrigerator and keep your food cold keep your a uh, freezer going now if your power is out and it might be out for three or four days and you've got your refrigerator plugged in what might you need to do you might need to get the solar going right because you certainly can't plug it in and power it up using electricity remember your electricity is out you don't have any power here's where when you're in a home you need to get going with solar also oh yeah i mean and with the 2000 or 1000 you could get a 200 watt 
solar panel. I only have 100 watt solar panels because my Jackery can only handle 100 watts and it seems to work okay with me. But you could get a, 2000, a 200 watt solar panel. Go put it in the sun. Go put it in the sun and power this thing up. Now, if you cover your refrigerator in your house with blankets, blah, 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 don't open the door, you can take this to where the solar panel is, right? Oh, yeah. And then you don't have to, like, have a, um, an extension cord to go, because your solar panel is going to go outside. And this is going to stay in by your refrigerator to keep your refrigerator going. Or your CPAP or uh, your oxygen machine or whatever yeah and that's about all it is with this um the one thing i don't like about okmo it doesn't tell you much it doesn't tell you what's coming in or what's going out whereas the jackery or blue eddies do it tells you how much how many wattage is going out by having things plugged in it tells you how much is going out and then when you've got it plugged in it tells you how much input you have of energy coming from the solar this doesn't i i you know that's kind of a bummer because i like to know those things okay so let's say that you can't you don't want to move this from your refrigerator your power is out you got to put you 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 were smart enough to get a solar panel well you need an extension card they have solar um they have solar panel extension cords yes now this there are different types of connectors this is an mc4 there's different ones yeah and this is a 15 foot yeah but what you also have to do then i hope i'm going in the right order and at the right speed so you can understand this I'm just using this as a scenario. It could also be a scenario that you're outside. It's really hot outside. You don't want to sit in the sun and babysit this because this is expensive. You don't want somebody just coming along and grabbing it from you know when you're not looking. So you kind of you have to have the solar panel out in the sun, but you normally don't want this in the sun, do you? You want this close to the shade where your your car is parked. So you need an extension cord. Or like I said, the scenario of you have no power, you, this is plugged into your refrigerator to keep your freezer going so you don't lose your food, you need an extension cord. You can even get longer ones than this. But in order to do that, you need to have these. Now, this one uses 5.5, I believe. So, oh, no, that was, go through this one. This is, there you go. So this goes, where does this go? Let me get my microphone cord. I'm getting tangled up. <laughs> ah. And I don't want my microphone rubbing against my shirt. That would be horrible for you guys to have to listen to, wouldn't it? Okay, so, so this goes in here. This goes in male, this is male female to male female. And then I take this out and I wind it out and I plug it into my solar panel. Yeah. So it's as easy as that. Seriously. Okay, now let's get to the solar panels. But we can't disregard the adapters. Now this is a 5.5 with an MC4. I only get solar panels usually with MC4 connectors. Now this one is MC4, but this is an 8 millimeter. Jackery and Blue Eddy uses 8 millimeter DC. So I have, actually I have two of these because I use 8 millimeter so much. I want to make sure I had an extra. And my Oakmo uses the 5.5. Okay, so we'll put these aside now. Solar panels, but my solar panel that's on my the roof of my minivan is it's a Renogy. It's a flexible, which it's a flexible. It's a, it's so thin, works great, and it's been going uh, a year and a half strong. 
and it's a 100 watt okay now and it's not foldable it's flat it's in one section and I just taped it down with black Gorilla tape this is my other original it's a Renogy it's a foldable they call it a soft solar only because the outside of it is soft in here MC4 it's not a very long cord that's why I had that extension cord but look at this it opens up there now there's nothing on the back I have to I have to actually lean this against something yeah but it does fold so these together these together work there's connectors in this fold somehow there's connectors that connect both of these it's probably a 50 and a 50 they're connected which makes it a hundred I like this I used this for before I used this exclusively before I got the solar panel on my roof my problem that I had with this was that I had to babysit it oh yeah I mean if I'm at a park um, anybody could come along and just walk away with it so I had to sit outside all the time while this powered up well after I got my solar panel on my roof I didn't have to because every time I drive it is powering up um, a device yeah or well, my power bank now here's another one this is nice it's an Okmo Okmo sent me this this is a bit longer isn't that nice look at that long cord I'm gonna tell you something you know what's cool about this one this is my favorite look at all those <laughs> ah, um, eight millimeter This looks like 5.2 and 5.5. And this is uh, PV. And I don't understand it. Just, it's, um, it's a connector. It's like an MC4 as a connector, but it does have, they say that it, it go, flows in faster. Look at that. And look how long this is. Totally cool. I love this. And let me put this back. So I can use this with Okmo or Jackery and, and power up because it's got all those different connectors. I'm telling you, Okmo is going to start overtaking all these other companies and I'll tell you why more in a minute. But look at this. It has a magnet in here. Magnet. It opens up. Yeah. There must be connectors in here that 50-50, I'm guessing. But it also has... So these can set an angle. Yeah, so this can set an angle. The other Renogy, the one I just showed you, I have to lean it against something, yeah. Now most of them come with these. I believe this one was around... 100 and 170 something like that Okmo now I just did a review on this one X-Tar same design it's got the magnet right here everything's in here this uses eight millimeter so yeah it already has this in here and the eight millimeter and it goes right in there you go it's a little hard to to connect this into something else but they did give you a long extension cord there's the beauty of it but it's still it'd be hard to hook this up to like 
using one of these, yeah. Because a lot of times, like my Vrenji, what comes out is the actual other connector, like MC4, yeah. So you see there with the X-Star, And it's also got this so you can lean it. I won't lean it again. You just saw me do it with the Oakmo. It's the same thing. Okay. So those are some of your solar panel options. Now, a lot of times what people do is they put 200 watt. If they have a huge rig and they're using the controller, the inverter with their lead acid batteries, like golf cart batteries, they've usually got like, some of them I've seen, they have like 600 watts altogether two, two, and two, and what they do, piggyback them together. Um, I don't know how to do that, so you would have to get other instruction on doing that, but there's so many videos out about that. Yeah, you just connect, uh, one connect this way, and then the other one connects this way, yeah. Well, they've got a lot of power, okay? But I don't use that much, I don't need that much power. I probably could use maybe more power, but my minivan is only so large. I tried to keep a 12 volt refrigerator, a set power 12 volt refrigerator going and I couldn't do it, not in the summertime, because I can't always park in the sun. And there's an issue. And let me, let me try to explain that as easy as possible. In the summertime, it's so hot. Anywhere you go in the country, it's gonna be warm. If I parked my rig in the sun inside my minivan, it could end up to be 110 degrees. Not good, not good at all. So what I need to do is in the summer, I need to park in the shade. Well, my solar panel is on top of my van and yeah, I have to pull out one of these and babysit it outside. To me, it's not worth it. I don't like that, so I do without I do without refrigeration. I just do. I mean, I just buy foods that don't go bad, like apples and uh, what doesn't, what else doesn't go bad so quickly? Cabbage doesn't go bad too quickly. If you get an avocado and hard one in a couple days, you need to eat it up. Cucumbers do pretty good for a couple days. Um, I've learned how to do lettuce, but there's, there's produce that you can do without having to use a refrigerator. And I don't go with the ice chest. Um, I know Paul uses a nice chest and he still uses it and uh, gets, has to get ice every two, three days. He would like to get a 12 volt, especially now that he's using that uh, 2000 watt Okmo um, power bank, power station. But this is the basic, this is what I use. This is what you can use too. You don't have to put anything on the top of your roof um, if you don't use that much um, power if you don't use that many devices and you're keeping things simple like I do I mean you can pretty much do with um, using one of these uh, I actually had I want I'm so glad I did go through the roof thing I have two 500 jackeries and then I have the 1000 Oakmo I don't use it very often unless I actually need it for a hair dryer or something like that like when I want to do my hair you know oh yeah <laughs> I know I canceled my um, my membership to Planet Fitness and yeah I mean so I'm not taking showers I'm just washing up really good every single night my hair needs to be washed or if it does need to be washed I usually put it in braids hey who cares right I do want to show you something else I hope I explained the solar properly to you you need the Sun you need a solar panel you need something to store the energy into, whether it be a, a simple power bank, expensive but simple, or you want to go with the controller inverter and the lead acid batteries, if you want to go that route. But you definitely, those are your main issues. You might need cords, you might need connectors. And if you have any questions like that, I will answer them for you. Leave me a comment go or go you know where else you need to go oh yeah oh yeah you need to go to Minnie Man Lee's this nomad life Facebook group we're all answering questions there get over there now if you're not over there and and ask questions on 
well, what kind of cords do I need? Lee, what kind of, do you know what I should get? And I will go ahead and I will send you a link for that. And even on, um, for all of you just strictly YouTubers that are watching this and you're new to my channel and you've subscribed, oh yeah, um, just ask me. I am going through all of my comments, everybody. And I'm doing my best to answer them. I can't answer them all. Um, but sometimes I just give you a little heart, like, I love you. Yeah, so many of us are friends now. So if you have any more questions, just ask me. I also need suggestions on what you want to know. I love to do instructional videos. So ask me a question, or um, and then I'll make a video out of it. Give me some suggestions, okay? But there's one more thing I want to show you. Oh, yeah. Blue Eddy. Look at this solar panel. This is a 120 watt solar panel. This is Paul's solar panel. He bought it less than a year ago. Um, when did you buy this, Paul? About a year ago. About a year ago. He bought this uh, almost a year ago. Well, it's got the same thing. It's got the cords in here. It's got the thing, to, but he thought it would be good to go ahead and it was easier to fold up because let's see how to because it would it folds up and this is in four different panels two three four these are four different panels well here's the problem it just stopped working this just stopped working the only thing it worked and then all of a sudden it stopped in midair, we were watching it. It stopped midair. We're wondering the only difference is because it's it's not dirty, it's not anything. Is you know how those other ones they fold it up in half? Well, there's got to be connectors in there that is making everything, you know, connect up. They have to be connected for it to work. Well, this now has one, two, three three breaks in the system instead of two there's three whereas well I said we should say the ones that fold up only had that one in the middle where it folds the fold this has three folds that's the more folds you have the more chance you have of those connections breaking this does not work anymore we don't know. He doesn't know if the if the warranty. I mean, less than a year. This was not cheap. So, consider that when you buy. Look at how many folds there are. How many time, folds that you're going to put together. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, there's that. I just want to mention that. I mean, it, these. There are little things that make a difference. For the pe and the and the people who have experience, can you know like pass it on? Yeah. Now, if anybody has a better explanation of why this just stopped working, it's less than a year old. It's not dirty. It's not dusty. It just doesn't work anymore. And it's not the his blue eddy because all the other ones work with it. If you have an explanation, if you have anything to offer, please leave it in the comments. I love you guys. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Those of you who already know about solar, you know, thanks for watching it all the way through. Maybe you gained something new from it. I don't know. But it's always fun to spend time together. Oh. There's a jet going by. About another week and a half in Tucson, and then we're off to you know where. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Like I said, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Thanks for watching it all the way through. If there's any magnets or stickers you want, um, just go there. Minivanlee.com, minivan-lee.com. Um, we have the podcast, the podcast. And that is This Nomad Life with Lee and Paul. And I'll leave the link for that. And, of course, the Facebook group. And we got a meetup coming up, everybody. So if you need these things, you know, and the meetup isn't until February 1st. So you've got a little time. Okay? Love you. Bye.